everybody. It's time for NHK World Radio Japan Easy Japanese. I'm your host, Michelle Yamamoto. And I'm Jonathan Shear. Let's have fun learning Japanese together. Today we'll learn lesson nine. The main character of our skit is Anna, an international student from Thailand. Today, Professor Suzuki is going to make an announcement in class. Now let's listen to the skit for lesson nine. Ashita, Kenko Shindan ga arimasu. Nanji kara desu ka? Gozen kuji kara juuichi made desu. Koko ni hachiji han ni atsunatte kudasai. Now let's explain the skit. Professor Suzuki said, Ashita, Kenko Shindan ga arimasu. You have a health examination tomorrow. Ashita is tomorrow. Kenko Shindan is comprised of Kenko meaning health and Shindan an examination. Na is the particle indicating a subject. Arimas means there is or you'll have. You can use Arimas both for the present and for future tenses. So, in an earlier lesson, we learned that arimas means there is something. And now it seems like we're learning that it means an event will be held or you'll have an event, right? Yes, that's right, Jonathan. Anna asks, Nanji kara desu ka? From what time? This is today's key sentence. Nan is what and ji means time or hour. Together. Nanji means what time? Kara meaning from is a particle indicating the starting point of a period of time or place. This is a polite word that ends a sentence. It is followed by ka, a particle that makes a sentence a question. Professor Suzuki answers Gozen kuji kara juuichi made desu. From 9 o'clock to 11 o'clock in the morning. Gozen means in the morning. Kuji is 9 o'clock. It consists of the number 9, ku, and ji o'clock, a counter indicating a specific hour. When 9 is followed by ji, we say kuji. Kara is from. As I said earlier, it is a particle indicating a starting point. Juuichiji is 11 o'clock. Made means to or until. It is a particle indicating the end point of a period of time or place. This is a polite word that ends a sentence. 11 is juichi from ju, which is 10, and ichi, which is 1, right? So would that mean that 12 is ju ni from ju 10 and ni 2? That's right. Professor Suzuki continues. ここに8時半に集まってください。Please gather at this place at 8.30. ここ means this place or here. に is a particle indicating a place. You already know. 8時 is 8 o'clock. 半 means half. So here it means half an hour, namely 30 minutes. The particle ni after 8.30 indicates a specific point in time. Atsumatte is the te form of Atsumarimasu. To gather. As you recall, if you add Kudasai please to it, it becomes Atsumatte kudasai. Please gather. It is a way of making a request. Now let's listen to the skit for lesson 9 again. Ashita, Kenko Shindan ga arimasu. Nanji kara desu ka? Gozen kuji kara juuichi ji made desu. Koko ni 8 ji han ni atsunatte kudasai. Next we have Teacher's Teacher, where the program's supervisor, Professor Akane Tokunaga, teaches us today's point for learning. So in this kit, there was another te form verb, and we've learned that 
集まります。to gather becomes 集まって when it takes its te form. Now, some people might be wondering why it doesn't become 集まりて Well, let's ask our teacher. 私が教えましょう。She says, in the previous lesson, you learned the basic pattern for changing the mas form verbs to the te form. Simply change mas to te. But today, Let's learn another pattern. In this pattern, you are to change not only mas, but also one syllable before it. If the syllable before mas is d, you change d and mas together. d mas to te. So, together becomes. Atsumatte. Atsumatte. This rule also applies when the syllable before mas is e or chi. Here too, you change e or chi and mas together to te. If the syllable before mas is mi, ni, or bi, you change both the syllable and mas to nde. For example, yomimas. Yomimas. To read becomes. Yonde. Let's memorize this by a song. The song tells you how you can change mas verbs to te verbs depending on the syllables before mas. When the syllable is i, chi, or ri, you change the syllable and mas together to te. If the syllable before mas is mi, ni, or bi, You change the syllable and must to nde. Now, if the syllable before must is ki, you change the syllable and must to ite. So, kikimasu. Kikimasu to listen to becomes kite. If the syllable before must is gi, You change the syllable and mas to ide. So, isogimas. Isogimas to hurry becomes isoide. Ikimas. To go is the only exception to this rule. It becomes ite. Now, the song for this part is. That was today's Teach Us Teacher. Next up, we have our segment on sound words or onomatopoeia, where we introduce words that simulate sounds, noises, or behaviors. Giri giri. You know, I've, I've been in situations like this where I was almost going to be late, but I got there just in time. Right. This word describes when you're pushed so hard that you have no more time or nothing more to spare. We have a similar sound word. Sure, sure. We say this when we almost went beyond the limit. If you almost failed in an exam, you can say, I barely passed the exam. Sure, sure. Before we close, Anna looks back on today's events and tweets. It's Anna's tweets. I heard that some numbers are considered bad luck in Japan. Four is shi, the same as death. Nine is ku, same as sufferings. So some hotels or hospitals avoid having room numbers four and nine. Did you enjoy lesson nine? Next time, Anna will have a health examination. Join us again. Sayonara. Sayonara.